If you wish to practice with the pen tool, then this is the way that I would approach it. So I'm going to go back to the pen tool. I'm going to hold down the space bar to get the hand tool and then click and drag so I can center the next pencil sketch on screen. Let go of the mouse, let go of the space bar. Again, I would suggest you start at the pointy ends of these leaves. I'm going to start at the top, left click and let go because it's a corner point. Hover across to the middle of the next curve. Click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down, drag this time downwards because I need to pull the handles out so that they roughly point in the direction where the curve's going to start and finish. Hover my cursor over the end, the pointy end, that again is a left click and let go. Go to the opposite side, middle of the curve, click and hold down the mouse, drag out to pull out the handle, let go, and then move straight on to the uh, original anchor point and left click to complete the shape. From here, we don't need to do anything else apart from hold down the space bar to get the hand tool and drag. And then we can start fresh because the symbol next to the pen tool is telling us that we're about to draw a brand new path that is unrelated to or unlinked to anything else that we've previously made. So again, left click at the top, hover across, click and drag with the mouse, let go down to the pointy end. That's a left click, click and drag and then left click to finish. And you can work your way around and complete these. And I will speed this portion of the video up now. So I think you've got a sense of where we're going with this. And there we go. That is uh, all of the leaves now drawn uh, with the pen tool. And what I will do in the next video is show the technique for how if you wanted to create just a couple of them with the pen tool and then create the rest by duplicating and transforming them, you can take a look at that video.